Ah, the Nintendo DS. A revolutionary console that basically founded handheld consoles. Most remembered for its touchscreen and not touchscreen hybrid and a, a thin pen. But what caught so many people's attention was its unique and incredible games such as New Super Mario Bros, Luigi's Mansion, um, Rain Rainbow Island Revolution. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, I Heart Geeks and Bubble Bubble Revolution. Yeah, I'm not going to be talking about that elite level of gaming today. I Heart Geeks is truly the AAA game of the century, and therefore is too perfect for me to talk about. Now, how many bad games have you played? Or heck, how many have you just watched videos on? Probably a lot. Now, get off your chair, get off your fat ass, and go grab a calculator. I want you to add up all of those games together. And that's the formula for Deal or No Deal. Now, to start with, it's based on a TV game show where you try to win money, kind of like Pointless or Tipping Point, except it's American and run by a bald man who proudly has a goatee. Please lock this man up. Oh, uh, by the way, of course, don't don't confuse it for the Clone Wars because they are both very similar. Wikipedia, I think you've lost it because I'm pretty sure the only people confusing the money game on national television for the show about an animated war using LED lights on sticks are people who are physically unable to see. Anyway, before we start the actual game, we must first understand the premise of the show. A contestant chooses out of 26 briefcases. The briefcase contains an unknown amount of money, ranging from one pence to one million dollars. Then they choose other briefcases with money in to try and work out what's in their briefcase. Then the host, you know, the egg, calls up his boy the banker and they settle on an epic deal. Then you get asked an important question. Meal or no meal? Wait, hang on. No, no, that's, that, sorry, that's the African version. Deal or no deal? That's, that, that, that that's the, that's the question. You could either take the banker's money or try getting even more. Then again, you could also get 1p. If I go all the way just to get a penny, I'll probably go and slap that incredibly shiny head of his into space. Anyway, the game just goes on repeat and it's mainly just filler until the contestant decides to either not do the business with the handsome suit man or until only two briefcases remain where they can either swap out their briefcase with the other one or keep it. And then, finally, the briefcase the contestant picked at the beginning of the round is revealed, either making them regret all their life choices or confused that they actually made a good decision for once. Let's explain the DS game. Guess what the game is? Yeah, 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 it's, it's, it's the exact same thing. That's the problem with games based on reality or game shows. They need to be relevant. But just don't make it the exact same thing that happens every season anyway for 54 minutes per episode and then just add a tiny bit of interactivity and call it a game. Anyway, these copies were only sold in America and I refuse to pay upwards of one quid on this game. So I'm calling upon my good old friend, the Nintendo DS emulator. Also, I downloaded the special edition of the game. Yes, you heard me right. There's a deluxe edition of Deal or No Deal for the DS. Let's go. I wonder if it contains any extra DLC campaign. I think it's probably just the emulator, but the sound is choppy and terrible, which is why I took off my headphones for my whole playthrough, because it's not like I'm missing any stellar voice act. You start the game and create a profile, and then you are met with the title screen, as usual, and the stonks, man? Why, why why, are you here, Mr. Stonksman? Also, I found that the English in this game is really bad, especially considering that it's an American game made by an American studio based on an American game show. So I choose case 19 because it was the first one that I clicked on. I then chose about five more cases, blah, blah, blah. Wait, what? I, I, I already found the one mil. And then I got a phone call from, I don't know, Ghostface? What is your favourite scary movie? I was offered 110k, yet decided not to do L Stonks, which turned out to be a terrible business decision. Sometimes between rounds you get a mini game, and uh, aren't, aren't they exciting? I had to weigh briefcases, like I was at a bloody airport, just to find out which one contained the most money. 
all while using horrible, unresponsive clicks. I think it's the emulator, but still. I then got back to picking briefcases at random for another two minutes. I was then phoned by a scam caller until I realised he wanted to give me money, but I said no because I'm a bad investor. Another mini game! Yay! I, I randomly pick a case and one of them does not contain cash, and if I get that one, it ends. Oh wow, how original, very original minigame, never done before, very original, super original. Then I was back to, you guess it, choosing cases. Okay, so then I was called up by a Discord mod, telling me how much he'll pay me for my bored ape, but I paid my life savings and my parents mortgage on it. So, I was like, nah bro, I then shot briefcases full of money out of pixelated ladies' hands who are clearly walking, but somehow don't need to move a single muscle in their leg. They look like just really tall Roombas. Okay, you know, you know the deal now? Or the no deal? I use my deduction skills to sniff out the stonks. Okay, I'm gonna skip to the end because this gets stretched for way too long and half the game is filler this game yes it lasted me 20 minutes you know I'm almost 15 and 20 minutes of my life has been spent on on deal or no deal for the DS then I'm offered the absolute bargain of $38 which is enough to buy two pairs of poop emoji slippers and then I'll still have six dollars to remain so I'm trembling at this moment, thinking of me and the fam walking around in our snazzy new slippers. But then I think, what if, what if I could get more? Maybe 10 poop emoji slippers? And that is something I want, nay, something I need. It is necessary for the survival of the human race. So I hit the button, no deal. I then got a mini game about ice cubes that actually has nothing to do with anything in the game except because they needed more mini game ideas and it was their only option. And this was it, the almighty question. A swap? See, 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 th this is what I mean by the terrible English. But I kept with my case. I believe in it. I, yeah, I, I got, I got one pence. Honestly, it's kind of funny that on the only game I've ever played on it, I got the smallest case possible. That's a real shame. Business posture. Okay, I went to the minigames tab on the main menu, and not a single one is original. They're all the same, boring, and extremely long ones that all last at least a minute. Which is terrible. Finally, I went to showroom, and it's just a poop emoji slipper of an attempt at adding some sort of replayability. You purchase a private island using the money you won, you can only get three houses, three cars, three boats, and three planes or helicopters maximum, and you can't do anything with them after. It, and that's it. It's kind of like if Roller Coaster Tycoon was about a private island and made by a four-year-old on scratch. And and that that's that's the whole game. If this gets ten likes, I'll make a review on the original version of Deal or No Deal DS. Help me. But. Like, like, like and subscribe if you enjoy, please, please, please. And if this gets 20 likes, I'll do a Deal or No Deal Deluxe Edition speed run. Help me. Alright, see you later. Also, uh, sub or I'll eat your mum.